What's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we're going to show you how to use contact in four easy steps on the MPC software. Now for those of you who have complete 9 or complete 10 I'm sure the first thing that you notice is that all the instruments installed in this large sample library called contact 5. Now if you're not that skilled with contact that's cool trust me but you don't want to eat up CPU space by opening multiple instances because in my experience it often crashes the MPC software and you don't want to lose your progress on your masterpiece so I'm gonna show you how to use it let's begin now the first thing you want to do is open up an instance of contact 5 but it has to be either 16 outputs 64 outputs or even 8 outputs alright now the reason you're doing that is because you have to have multiple outputs for all of the MIDI channels that you have and if you don't open one of these instances you'll have to keep opening multiple contact fives in order to facilitate what you're trying to do so alright now what I did was I, lo I loaded contact five but I loaded it with 16 outputs so I can have up to 16 MIDI tracks of instruments playing at the same time with just one instance of contact five all right now what I've already done is I pulled up three different instruments and I mapped them to different MIDI channels all right now those are steps three and four I know it kind of went by fast so I'm gonna show you an illustrated way of how you do it all right so basically you load up contact five and then you load up your instruments now the next thing you do after you load up your instruments you go up to MIDI channel MIDI channel a right here and then you scroll down and for every new instrument you add you change the MIDI channel so say this is the first instrument so it's gonna be on MIDI channel 1 the second one's gonna be on MIDI channel 2 and the third one's gonna be on middle channel 3 all from a uh, host a so as you can see this is how we have it right now see MIDI channel 2 MIDI channel 3 now after you have that in order to finish up this process all you have to do is do the same thing on the MPC software because if not and they're all on MIDI channel 1 the sounds will overlap and you don't want that so notice I have MIDI channel 3 right here that's gonna be playing our bass see you got sound let's go up to track 2 now our session horns are playing and just to check let's go to MIDI channel 1 alright track 1 MIDI channel 1 and there you have it our piano our session horns and our bass are all playing on their respective MIDI channels now with the 16 outputs you can keep adding instruments until you fill up that 16 outputs and then load another instance of contact or if you feel like you might need more instruments just use the 64 output instance and you can keep loading until you have 64 instances of a contact instrument and that's how you do it in a way to where you don't eat up your CPU power so that your MPC software won't crash and you won't lose your progress and that my friends is how you use contact multi if you have any questions please contact us at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend and please hit that subscribe button so we can keep giving you guys content every week. See you next Friday. Peace.